Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. Today is June 11th. It's a beautiful day here, sunny day here in Bozeman. I'm going to just see if I can find myself on my computer here. Let's see if we can... I can't. Let's see. Um, oop, there. There it goes. Yep. Good. All right. Well, it takes a few minutes for everyone to find their way here. And um, I have two fun projects for you today. I think you'll really enjoy those a lot. And let me just move that right there. Maybe I'll just leave it right here. I'll just... Um, all righty. I have had... I have had a busy week since I saw you last, and I have a busy week coming up. Um, I spent last week in Appleton, Wisconsin, visiting my mom and sisters and everyone, my my relatives there, and my I visited my aunt, who's my uncle just passed away. He was 91 um, just two weeks ago, so I got to visit her too. So that was really neat. My Played lots of games with my mom and sisters, and we had lots of fun. It was hard to leave my mom. She's she's 97 and a half, three-fourths, really. She's starting to, she's having a really, mentally she's pretty good, but walking, she can barely walk. And she's using a wheel, she's not using a wheelchair, she's using a walker. She should be using a wheelchair, but she doesn't want to, so it's sort of a tricky thing. Anyway, let's see if we have anyone finding us here. And no, I don't see anyone yet. So it takes a few minutes. Um, so this week, Terry and I are going to, we have our 50th wedding anniversary. And we are going to Banff, Alberta for uh, three days. So we're just flying up there tomorrow and we'll be back soon. And then this weekend I have a class. So I am just trying to get as much packed in to the summer, plus take little vacations. So, uh, okay, let's see one's here. I'm gonna turn the, see if we can, oh, hey, Carla, you wish I was still in Appleton. Glad you found us this morning. Uh, it takes a little bit of time for everyone to get on here. So, yeah, that was really fun, wasn't it? Um, we are having beautiful weather here in Bozeman. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful sunny day. I went out and walked this morning early. Hey, Martina, good to see you. Um, we have so many workers here today. Today is a big moving day. We have a guest house that we've been um, building and it's all finished. And today the moving van is coming with furniture. It's a small move, it's a, not that big, but um, it's a, they're moving the furniture today. We had a, had a concrete truck here because some of the concrete got ripped up yesterday. We have the landscapers here working on replacing some of the shrubs and flowers that got damaged during the winter here around our house. And then they're going to be landscaping the new get, the guest house. So we have a lot of people here, plus a cleaning crew. So we must have 25 people here. There's no place to park. And if I had to get my car out of the garage, it would be tough. Alrighty, I think that's enough talking. And hey, I'm Martina and good to see you all. So I'm going to, um, one more thing before I turn the camera down. Don't forget we have 10% off this whole month of, of June. So any bundles that are in the catalog or online exclusives, you get 10% off. So you normally get 10% off bundles, but you get an extra. So you get a total of 20%. And that is also included in the, let me see if I can find the page here in my book. This is what we're working on is stamping up catalog, the annual catalog. And we have, 10% off on our cut and emboss machines too, the mini and the regular ones. So a 10% savings is nice. You're very welcome. Okay, and today we are going to be working out of the catalog. We're going to be doing Mediterranean Blooms, this pretty one. Hey, Stacy, thank you for sharing. And then we are going to be working in a little bit with Country Woods, the uh, Country Flower set love these. So 
Anyway, we're going to uh, flip the camera. Thank you for sharing. I always appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos, please thumbs up, hearts, um, comment. I'd love to read the comments later in the day. And um, share. I share it. That really helps me a lot. It helps me grow my little, my small business. Hey, Linda, good to see you this morning, too. Um, <clears throat> so this coming Saturday afternoon, I have a fun fold class, and I'm going to show you the five cards that are involved in that class. The class is $32. And it, you get a half package of designer paper. You get gems, tutorial, ribbon, um, printed tutorial, or directions and uh, five fun fold so we'll be busy making cards and if you'd still like I still have two spots in person and then I have also I have a lot of I have several kits to go so you can also uh, do a porch pickup or I can ship if, if I'm shipping it it'll be an extra it'd be a total of forty dollars so anyway just uh, email or text me or message me if you are interested and I take PayPal or Venmo or check or cash so I'm gonna turn the camera down close your eyes here we get we'll get this ready these are the five fun folds I will show you what what they do. So this is a very easy, it's sort of like a picnic table. See how it looks like a like a table. So that's one. It's all using the hearts, the uh, hearts and hugs. Here's one like we did last week. Remember last week we did the split front. If you can you can go back on YouTube or on Facebook and look at that. So we did that one. This one is sort of a fun. This is a really fun style. Um, I'm doing several of these. These are really, this is sort of like two, four, six, eight card, and it's neat. And this latches under here like that. Here's another one. Uh, this is the, look at those cute little walruses. This one opens like this, and it pops like that, and re you read it. So it's like that. It's two separate um, bases. And then this is one. This is one of the little panels, and then it opens up, and there's a heart inside that pops up like that. Those are the five cards that we'll be making. So you get all of the paper. You get half a package of the DSP from Country Lace. This is my um, host coat for today. Um, set those there. So do not forget about this extra 10% off. So this is on on stamps and dies, not punches, just dies between, well, between today and June 30th. So there are a lot, that includes some of the online exclusives like the Zinnia too. So that, that also works. Okay, let me put that right there and we are going to start. So I was inspired by a card that I made, oh, I don't know, maybe two years ago. I don't know, maybe it was a year. I was I was sorting through my cards to put out on my uh, display in my rack and some of them on displays and to sell. I sell my cards and I ran across this one. I thought, oh, this will be fun to do. We haven't done this for, a, we haven't done a diagonal um, joy fold. So a regular joy fold is when a card tucks within the other and this is just a diagonal. So that was that silly goose set that's retired, but it was fun. Really enjoy that, and I've really enjoyed it since we have we have some geese on our pond here. These are this, these are the papers that we're using today: Mediterranean blooms, country woods, and country lace. And I have a big stamp camp at the end of the month. It's an all day Saturday, can be in person or to go, and it's going to be using both of these and that wonderful mega suite that we have. Okay, let me see. Um, I'm going to just move that. We're going to start with the Mediterranean Blooms, and this is the stamp set that we're going to be using. I've got, I've got things all over the place here. This is the stamp. It's called Citrus Blooms. Beautiful, beautiful. If you like to color, um, this is a great one for your blends or your watercolor pencils. Some nice dyes, and this, these cut out some of the the dies that are in the designer paper. So we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you that today. Um, I'll just show you a couple other cards before we get to the one we're going to be making. I'm gonna show you um, 
a couple of cards that I received as swaps. I thought these were really pretty. This one was Krista Wilson. Look at this one, it's quite fancy. Look at that one, isn't that pretty? So she cut this one out with um, the dies. Would be even, it would be even prettier with a little bit of Wink of Stella on there. That's a really pretty card. And um, this one is Laura Milligan. Oh, I, I know Laura. We've met on our incentive trips. Isn't that a pretty? Nothing hard about this. Quite simple. Just a few little strips of DSP and um, a punch. The punch that we have. Thinking of you. And uh, this one is. Let me see what's that there. This one is uh, Monica Gilberti. That's just a plain. I think this one's a fun fold. I'm gonna. Well, maybe it's not. Okay, this one's not. So the uh, the dyes do not cut out the lemons. They cut out the oranges. This one's just a, this one is by Lori Krauss. So those are some of the cards that I got as swaps. And there, I'll show, this is one, a card. Um, I was in, I was in, uh, Appleton in Wisconsin last week, but I, my sister Carla and I drove to Fond du Lac, which is about 45 minutes away, and I went to a, uh, a stamping class or an event that Christine Bertram had, and it was really wonderful. I just, I've taken a couple classes by Christine. She's a young gal. She was like 40 years old, so she's really young and pretty tech savvy. Anyway, we did a swap, and this was, this was the card that I did for her swap like that. And today we're going to do this card, which is very similar, but we're going to use the designer paper on this one. And then on my second joyful diagonal card, we're going to do some coloring with our blends. So this is the card we're going to make today. They're both gorgeous. The papers are so pretty. Um, so it has these lemons and blossoms. And it's very, it's very Mediterranean looking with the blues and the a balmy blue in the navies. This is the one we'll use today. And there, this one is the one that is can be cut out with your dies. Some pretty papers. Love this. Some orange and blossoms. And then we have this one with the lemons. So some fussy cutting and some that you can um, do like with the dies. So it also, oh, I wanna show you too. There's also a die in there that cuts out this. Look at this shape, this big shape. So uh, I better get the dies out again because um, so you can see what I'm talking about. Cuts out a piece like this. It's a really big set. It's, it's the most expensive set in the catalog. It is, I don't know, I don't know if it's, hey, Nadine, Jeannie, good to see you girls this morning. Um, so it has all of these dies, like that. Plus it has this big die, like that. And it has this frame that can go right in there. And then also this greenery. So there's just really a lot. I think it's maybe a $60 bundle. But if you if you got your 10%, you would save all of that. You would save 10% on the most expensive bundle in the catalog. So this is the this is that. Citrus Blooms is the name of it. And let me see once here. I better move that off. So it has a lot of pretty um good. I haven't made this card, but I, I cut out that piece and I thought that would be really pretty together with the lemon lolly and the, uh, I don't know what that, um, well, one is boho blue and one is balmy blue. So uh, I'll put that aside for now, but we're gonna make our card. So let's get our pieces out and we're gonna do a little cutting. Oh dear, I've, I'm starting to lose things already. Bits and pieces here. Oops, the daisy, now my computer stopped. Let's see, are you still seeing me okay? Um, let me know if you're still seeing me. I can't see the comments. Okay. Alrighty. Well, those are the parts that we're going to cut. I'm going to set those there and the jams and we have our... <clears throat> we're going to start with a... Uh, <laughs> I feel a little discombobulated here. 
We're going to start with a thick base, and <clears throat> it's just a regular side folding base, and we have some designer paper. We have two, you need two pieces of designer paper for this. So here we have, like here's one, here's the other. So I have a several, but this is the one that we're going to cut diagonally. So I'm gonna do that first. And so I just have a couple others that are possibilities for the background. We'll look at that in a minute. So we're gonna cut two at four inches by five and a fourth. And then, I'm gonna set that there. And then we'll need a little card, a small card that's three inches by eight and a half. And I already scored it at four and a quarter. So it's like a little book, little folder. So, okay, let's bring in our paper trimmer. And this is how this works. I'm going to, so this was a, just a regular normal five and a half by eight and a half. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut diagonally from that crease down to that corner. And so I'm going to just put it in. I'm going to look at my my points. Can I see if you can see it okay? I've got that right in the crease. Where I'm going to, right there is in the crease. And then down here, I've got it. Um, I don't know if you can see that far down. Okay, but I'm going to just cut it like that. And I'll save that. We can always use that for something else. And then we, we're going to cut our designer paper. And this one is four by five and a fourth. And this one, obviously, you could use, um, I'm going to cut it diagonally again, just like the other one. Now I'm going to save this piece because I can use this for another card. Just like that. That's all we're going to use for that. And the rest is all done. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to give this a good bone folding. So this is the, uh, this is my Crafting Creations, or <laughs> Crafting Creations by Corinne is the name of my, my business page. And, but this is my, my website, corinnescrafts.stampingup.net. And that's my June host code. So if you're interested in that, please, um, uh, Please, you can you can place an order and use that if you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna put some adhesive on here. I'm going to use my little silicone mat. You wanna whenever you're starting with these pointed edges. Whoops! Just fell in my little wastebasket there. Don't start on the edge. Start in the middle and go out like that because that just you don't want these to break or to bend. Okay. So now we're going to, I'm just going to open that up to show you a little bit better. I'm going to have this on like that. I'm going to have just a, like an eighth of an inch. There we go. Nice and smooth. And good thing we're covering up that background because I got fingernail polish on there. We can, um, so we can, uh, on the other one, I used this. I used this piece. For the background, we could use the lemons, but we are going to we're going to put oranges on here. So I I think that one's really pretty. Could also go like that. Um, I think maybe we'll use this one. I think this might be fun. We haven't I haven't used that one yet. I think I'll use that. So okay, um, we're going to just adhere that. My tape runner is just about out. I, you know what? I can see it should have been this way, but it, I don't think you're going to really be able to tell too much. I sort of cut it the in more of a landscape rather than I should have cut it just the opposite, turned it, but it, I don't think you're going to be able to tell. I think that looks really good so far. Okay, that's as easy as it gets. That's how you make the diagonal um, part of this card. And now we're going to do our little booklet because this is going to go in here like this, and then it's going to open up and fold down like that. So I am, this is, you can actually make it wider. Three by eight and a half. Eight and a half is the width of our paper, so that works perfectly. Three inches is pretty nice. You can make it three and a quarter, three and a half if you want it, if you have a wider design. 
but I'm going to do it this way. But I'm going to do some stamping now. We're going to bring in our green, uh, garden green ink. That's what's used in this um, paper, garden green. And we are going to do a birthday stamp. This is, um, I love this birthday stamp. It's a really a little bit overkill with this large stamp, but it's sweetly scripted. It's an online exclusive right now. It's really pretty. You can just look at my website and you'll see it. And I'm going to um, just press it down like that. You want a pretty stamp. Give that a nice little clean. And we're going to do the front of our card. I'm going to turn that over because there's a little bit of ink on that. I'm going to give this a good um, holding so it stays nice and closed. We're going to do um, the stamp set from... The stamps that are here are Hello, All the Love, is, which is what I used on this card. I, I did a birthday for this one. I, I need birthday cards more than anything. All the Love and then a Happy Birthday on the inside. But we're going to do, instead of doing All the Love, we're going to do You're the Best Kind of Person. It's also a Just Checking In. But we're going to ink that, stamp that up, and we're going to put that right at the bottom. We're going to do this first. You're the best kind of person. And that should, and then the happy birthday on the inside. Like that. Okay, now we can go on with the card. So I'm going to put, this is going to go, I'm gonna, I'm like, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that when this card is assembled, that that is going to still, I can still open and close my card. So I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark if I can find my pencil. I'm just gonna put a little pencil mark right up here. Okay, that's good. And now I'm gonna put my adhesive on. And I'm just going to make sure that Just setting it like that, making sure everything is straight on the, around the edges, okay? Let me see, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Okay, all good, thank you, Stacy. appreciate that. Okay, so I can flip it like that, and now I close it, and it works great. Just gonna give it another little bone folding right here, and our card is pretty close to being finished. So I'm gonna set that aside right there, and we're gonna get our designer paper out. Got some gems here. These gems are, uh, what are they called? Oh, these are the, I think they're from the garden ones, or transparent adhesive back dots. And they are, they're really nice. I don't know if they're from the market set or what set they're from, but these are, this is what we have. Okay, so this is what, I have a little bow already made for that. So the paper looks like this and you can just, this one you would fussy cut, this one I would use with the die, like this. So this would fit on. Don't you love it when Stamping Up does this? Oh my goodness, it's so fun. There, and that's how you run it through your big shot. I have, I don't know that would fit on my, my little mini here. I've got a little mini one right there next to me. But you get the idea. It also cuts out this one. This one is the oranges also, so it cuts out two. And then the lemons you have to fussy cut. But with the magic of TV, we have, I have already die cut this. So there it is. And there's the other one. We're only going to use one, but you get the gist. This one I fussy cut, but it's so they're just so pretty. Beautiful paper. We're going to, um, I'm going to do some Wink of Stella on the oranges. Give them a little, we have, you know, Wink of Stella's back in. I think it might even be on low inventory again. Oh my goodness, I really stocked up the last time because I, I, I hate not having Wink of Stella. And mine was, anyway, so it's nice to have it back in stock. It goes pretty fast. 
I'm gonna just do all those little flowers. Okay, we are not going to use those. I did fussy, I didn't fussy cut, I actually um, die cut these little flowers and we'll see if we, we'll see if we use those or not, okay? So we're gonna just pop that over here out of the way and I'm gonna put this right there and we're going to build the rest of our card. I want my stem to go sort of straight up and down like this. Move my chair a little closer, I'm scooting way back on these rollers. So um, I'm gonna put a, I'm just gonna put a little dimensional, oh, it's too big. And it's, let's do this little one right there. Piece from my little dish of foam adhesive dots. So not dots, they're sheets. Foam sheets, I love my foam sheets. I can barely handle not having them with me. Okay, then I'm gonna take my regular dimensionals and I'm just gonna put some around the edges, but I like to have something sort of solid in the, in the middle. Okay, that should, maybe one more down here. I am a person who uses a bunch of dimensionals. I just think they're not very expensive and that you don't want your card to collapse and, and be smashed in when it rolls through the sorting machines at the post office. So um, anyway, there we go. Oh, I think that covered it up. But anyway, I think what I'll do is, I didn't realize that, okay. And there is our card. And I think what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna use some more of these I'm gonna put some more, uh, I'm gonna put a couple of these on with my mini, mini dots, glue dots. I'll put one on there. These little ones are so little. Oh my goodness, I can barely handle using them, they're so little. Quite often I tend to cut, I cut the other ones. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of put it like that and then I'm going to put another one so just right there that sort of covers up those that adhesive that I wasn't thinking about there for a moment when I put that big sheet on I didn't realize it was cut out okay and I'm going to set those back there I'm going to put I tied a I already tied a, a double bow and I'm going to use some glue dots here and we're gonna just roll it up a little bit with my fingernail. And I'm gonna just put it on there on that double knot, double bow. And we're gonna put that right at the top. You could use twine, I think, too. I like the white a little bit better. And now we're gonna put some, uh, we're gonna put some of these gems on. They're called transparent adhesive dots. Transparent, I, someone maybe check. I think they're from the market. Hey, Mimi, Stacy, Nadine. Good to see so many of you. Um, I don't know, let's see. Maybe we'll use the green this time. I used the clear the last time. I think that's what I'll do. I'll use the green right down here and put a couple right, right here at the bottom. And I'm gonna put one small one up here here at the top. Maybe we could even put could put them in the flowers too. I don't think I will though. I think I'll just do that. And um, that is our card. I'm gonna add a little Wink of Stella to those couple of flowers that I added. And there's our card. It looks like my bow is upside down though. Well, it's just gonna have to stay that way. And this is the other card that I did before. You're the best kind of friend. Here I use the clear, the ones that are sort of white, and I actually used them in the blossoms. I like that idea, but I do like those green ones. So happy birthday. This one I used the birthday from Unbounded Love, and I put those little things at the bottom. I don't know that we need that, but anyway, we'll just leave it like that. And then the other one is this one that I did for my swap. I was getting tired. I made made 12 or 14 of these and I was getting tired of that, coloring that and all that. So anyway, sometimes it's easier to go ahead and just do the, the designer paper. Okay, so which is your favorite of these? So and we have different, today we did 
this one with the more of the orange in the background paper. This one has yellow and orange from the lemons and oranges. There's really not a lot of difference, but which is your favorite of all three cards? Which design do you like the best? Okay, let's move that aside and I will, if you like my videos, please thumbs up, hearts, uh, subscribe. If you're on, if you are on um, YouTube, I always post my videos. I have all the directions written up, already typed up, and then I will um, post those. It takes me about five minutes to put them on the Facebook site after the video is finished. And then I, um, it takes about an hour to load them, upload to, uh, up to uh, YouTube. So, um, and all these are already printed out for you. So just give me a few minutes after the video and you can go back and hopefully you can make a card the same way. Okay, we're gonna do another joy fold diagonal. And this is what I came by using these two papers, Country Woods and Country Lace. And this is absolutely my favorite paper right there. My second favorite is that one. Look at all these. Aren't they just the best? Oh, so pretty. Love them. Just love this paper. And it's gone out of stock several times. It's come back in quite quickly. This is the one that coordinates with it. It's called um, Country Lace. It's got the denims and it's got the wheat, not wheat, um, beige, basic beige and smoky slate, petal pinks, Misty Moonlight. Okay, as we're using both of these today, we're combining this. This will be a this will be a card that could be used for is going to be used for my stamp camp. Okay, and this is I've used this quite a bit already. It could, but which do you like better? Do you like the flowers or do you like the leaves? And we're going to use the gray pearls and. So we can do either one. I, I think they're both quite pretty. They're ones with the flowers, with the petal pink, and there's the ones with the leaves. So we can do that. Either one that you'd like. Um, okay, so we've got a I've got an envelope already made for this card. I love covering my envelope, so we'll set that right there. And let's start. Let's see what, what, what you're saying. Uh, the lemon one, the blue, love all the cards. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, from Mimi from Kansas. Good for you. Okay, good. Now you're gonna you're gonna have to help me decide if we want to do the plant or if we want to do the flowers. So, okay, we're gonna put we're gonna do our basic design again. I already did my. This was five and a half by eight and a half. I already sliced it on the diagonal. I I bone fold it. This one I use the uh, Pebble Path. This one I'm using Espresso to see if see what you like better. I have my inside mat. This is a large piece of this beautiful paper, four by five and a fourth. And you're gonna. go. And now this gorgeous piece of designer paper. I definitely would use this one. I love that one. But I have two of them. I just, I guess I, that was going to be, you could use, because you're going to use, you, you have to cut two, two papers that are both four by five and a four. That would be another possibility, but I already glued that. So no choice. We're just going to do that. And um, we're going to cut this now. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to Cut that in half. It's really an easy slice. There's nothing hard about doing this. And then you're gonna have enough for two cards. I have both points around the diagonal, the cutting board. So there we go. If you didn't, if you if you're coming in late, you can always go back and watch the replay. Um, because I showed on the very first card how to cut the diagonal. So I'm going to start just 
don't get your tape runner too close to those points. Okay, now we're just gonna put this on like this, give it a little bit of, like an eighth of an inch. There we go, isn't that pretty? Just the prettiest, pr I love these colors. Oh my goodness, doesn't it remind you of being on a farm or being on the beach? I think it's very beachy too, I really like that. So, okay, we are going to get our, um, our little flap. So our flap card is going to be pool party and it's three inches again, same by, as the other, at by eight and a half. I scored it four and a quarter. So you can either take a screenshot or you can just wait until I post the directions. And um, let's see once. On this one, I put the two and three fourths by four. That's a center flap. We could also do that. I don't think so. I think they'll like the lighter better. I just think that's just a little too dark. So I'm going to put this on the front like that. That's the center flap and the same measurement goes on the inside. The inside white is the same. It's, well, it might not be this thing. It might be an eight. It might be a uh, An eighth or a sixteenth, I'm not sure what I did here. But anyway, anything will go on the inside that's just a little bit smaller. So it gives you a little bit more space to write. Okay, that's going to be our card like that. And we are going to, let's do our stamping next. Okay, we're going to set these aside. We're going to stamp, um, we're going to use our espresso this time. I used black on the others, but we are going to use espresso. Um, we're going to do a, on our pink, we're going to stamp right along the edge. We're going to use the, um, I love this. I love this saying. It says best friend ever. And it's also with heartfelt sympathy, flower market, sending love, so lucky to know you. I used the so lucky to know you on the other card, but we're gonna use it, we're gonna use best, well, no, I used this on both on the front, but I used, uh, I used the so lucky to know you on the inside, but this time we're going to use, what are we going to use? That is not going to work. I, I mounted this one, hoping you have the best day ever. That is not going to fit in here. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna change plans. Um, we're gonna go back to so lucky to know you. And I better get my little silicone mat out. That's my piercing mat. Like that. So lucky to know you. Close. We're going to leave that open because we're going to be close. We're going to be stamping a. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this just with my paper trimmer. Did you see how I just? It's a very very skinny stamp, and I want to. I just want to put it on the edge, and I'm going to trim it off as tight as I can, and there it is. That's all I'm going to do with that, and now. I can um, take my little snips and just slant the edges like that. I love the slanted edges. There's my piece. And okay, now we need to, let's see once. Um, oh, it's good to see so many. Good morning, Anne Louise. Um, I don't know. Let's see once now. Do you want me to do the... The leaves, we'll do, we'll stamp both and then you can tell me, do you want me to do the leaves or the flowers? Let's see if I can find my pieces. Okay, we have a circle that we're gonna put all of this on and we got a pot. I cut out a pot already, like it's from the dies. There's not a stamp for this one, but we're going to use that and Let's see what else I have in my little envelope. 
I already have so we've got I have a flower cut out and I have a leaf cut out some plant so those are those and let's see so hopefully we'll see how this goes um, Hey, hey, Linda, good to see you. Try the flowers. Stacy says leaves. Pam, hi, Pam. Um, well, let's see. Let's stand first, and um, then you can tell me. Good to see you all this morning watching. I'm going to get my little piercing mat out again. This really is a... These come in a big, um, in a big one like this. It, well, it's not real big. It's a nice size, actually. But I, sometimes I've cut them in half just so they can grab a smaller piece. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so we're gonna just stamp this flower, uh, this plant on here. And because it's photopolymer, I can get pretty much right over it like that. And there we have that. There's the plant. And the flower is going to be, and I am stamping this with, um, the espresso black. Whenever you use moment, uh, whenever you use blends, it's usually better to do um, the black momento. But this, I just happened to, I can. It'll still work. You just don't want to get too close to the edges with the blends because it can bleed. Okay, so now let's put our card together. We have these two pieces right there, and I think we'll just bring in. Um, Let's let's finish putting this together. Okay, this is going to be, we're going to do our circle is going to be, this is that new um, spotlight. Oh, I love these, this new die. Oh, it's just the best. Let's see, one little tiny hole right there. Use your piercing tool. I'm going to cut, uh, poke that out. I, am, I can't believe I haven't run out yet. I'm going to run out any second here on this. But I've got more, so... Not a problem. There's that. Now let's put our, um, are you all voting? You want plant or flowers? Um, so this is going to go in here like that. And I'm going to arrange this so that it's evenly spaced and even. This would have been pretty in brown also, I think. And there we have it. You always want to make sure that that, you can, that hinge is going to go over that diagonal. That's important. Okay, now we have our little, um, little container that I cut. And I think I'll use that one. That's the other side. That's sort of cool too. We'll just stay with that. Okay, now what do you think? Let's see what you're saying. Flowers, flowers, leaves, leaves. Hey, Lisa. Um, flowers, flowers, leaves. Oh, goodness. So I'll show you. I have, um, so we're, we'll start coloring, and I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to put this one down with my stamp and seal, and we're going to put that there. You're still voting. Just keep it down fairly low at the bottom of that. And now I'm going to put this is going to go right across like that. Um, I'm going to just there we go. And now I'll show you. Let's do a little coloring. Let's see. I'll put that right there. We, we don't need that anymore. Okay, where are my blends here? I have a bunch of blends out. I have soft sea foam and pool party and old olive oil. Let's just do, we'll start with the, we're going to start with the, um, with the, with the plant. I'll just show you a little bit. That one's off a little bit, isn't it? Um, I'm using the pointed end wherever Stamping Up has given us some lines. That's where we're going to use to just sort of outline. That's going to be the darker part. I'm going really quickly and um, you get the idea. And now I can take my, my, my blends that are like sea foam 
I'm gonna color that in with this. I want this to be, I want it to work with the paper, but I also want it to look a little bit like a plant. So you get the drift like that. That's how I would do that. Um, actually, I think the lighter one was better. The lighter sea foam is just a little bit better than that darker one I just used, but you see how that works. And then for this one, with the petals, I used my um, pool party. You can tell this pool party that I chose is I want to leave a little bit of white on the edges, so I'm just going sort of quickly like that. And let's see what this flower would be. I'm going to switch to the other end because that one's sort of getting smashed. Sometimes in class, my I have several people using blends of mine that sometimes they get they get worn out pretty fast. They are expendable and a consumable item, and you want to make sure that. Um, you know, you when I, I what I do is quite often is whenever there's a sale, like when we had free shipping, that's when I um, I stock up and I replenish a lot of things. But there's there's that, and you can do um, the little dark, the little lighter one around the edges, like that. So let's see what you think. Um, flowers, flowers, flowers. Hello from California, Mary Ellen. Hmm. I don't know. I think maybe we better do, uh, I think we have more people saying flowers. So by the magic of TV, we have that. I also had one, a leaf one. So there's that. And I can finish those other ones later. So we're going to push that aside and we'll do the flowers on this one. So you have, you can see both. Um, okay. So I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. So don't forget about this great sale right now. Any of the uh, bundles that are in our catalog, not things that are from last year that are still, that are, have carried over, but the current bundles, ones that are brand new, um, those are all 10%. And anything that is um, online exclusive too. So oh, that one's sort of cut in half and it's making a mess. Okay, there we have our flowers. And I'm going to just take my piercer and uh, get those off. You know, if you don't have a, if you don't have a piercer, that's a great tool. Um, these ends all come off, and you can do different things with them. But if you don't have a piercer, the other way you can do it is you can take your fingernail, poke it in there like that, and peel it up. But I use so many dimensionals, and I really like well, my favorite method is holding the piercer really close and taking them off. And I just drop it in the little wastebasket next to me, which is sitting right there. Okay, here's our little flower. And let's see, we're gonna have these going up like that. Oh, I think that looks really pretty. Let's use a little wink of Stella on this on these flowers. You can tell I, I obviously spent a little bit more time coloring than when I was showing you what I was doing. Just like that, I think it's really pretty. In my class at, at the end of the month, my stamp camp, it's a Saturday. It can be taken in person or it can be taken um, to go. So I can ship it to you. And I always do a lot of little treats. And um, we'll be doing uh, with the birdhouse and with the country flowers. Those will be the, and then we'll have a potluck lunch. Those of, those of you who are in person. So actually I have more kits to go than I have in person. So I can only take about six or seven for in person, but I can take more kits. So here is our, our um, and the cost for that is $55 plus shipping. So we have gr basic gray and smoky slate pearls. I have used a ton of these already. They're really nice. So the darker ones are the basic gray, the lighter are the, they're not silver, they're more of a dull, but um, they're really nice. Let's see how, how it's going to, how it would look having one of those. You could use it right there in the middle. I think I'll do that. I'm going to do another one with the in that middle, like that. And then I think we'll put a couple on the ends. So we're going to do, uh, we'll do one up here. And again, I'm going to do two down here at the bottom. Well, I think I'll do them right here, actually. 
like that. So you can do whatever you want, obviously. So, which do you like better, the plant or the flowers? Which do you like better, the espresso or the pebble path? Pebble path brown espresso. I know which one I like for sure. So you tell me what you like. And then here's our envelope. This is the same paper that I used for the, the little potted plant. So anyway, good. Let's see once. Um, somehow my screen has gone dark. Okay, let's turn the camera. Close your eyes and I'll turn the camera back. Here we go. Oh my goodness, there we go. You like the flowers the best, Pam? I think I do too. It's really pretty, but I wanted to give people a, a, a choice. Um, so that's always fun because in a class, sometimes people like, they don't, you know, they might want to say, I have so many flowers, I want to use the plant. Whatever. Anyway, so very fun. I hope you'll try this. Remember, the directions will all be, give me five minutes after my video is complete, and then you can go back and you'll see under more is where the directions will be. And then I will also post tomorrow. I will post all the pictures. And then on YouTube, it takes me about an hour to get that all uploaded. But you can always, um, if you watch. If you're on YouTube, make sure you ring the bell to subscribe. If you are on Facebook, you subscribe and you set your notifications and then you'll know when I come. So I will be back next Tuesday. Terry and I are going uh, away for a few days. For We're going to Banff, Alberta. Uh, I kept saying it was in British Columbia. It's not in British Columbia. It's in Alberta, straight north of us here in Montana. It's really not very far. Um, so we're going to Banff and Lake Louise for a few days, and then um, I'll be back. I have a class on Saturday, so it's going to be a really fast trip, but actually it's going to be sort of cold up there, so it'll be fine. We'll just do a little sightseeing, and I have a spa or a spa appointment, and, and we're looking at some nice dinners. We went there for a... Um, you're going there in July? That's amazing, Linda. Um, we went there for our 25th anniversary. It was right after my dad had a heart attack. And we were there and my dad had this heart attack at the time. And I was like, oh, it was so troubling. It, But he, he did fine. He lived to be 91 um, or 90 and a half rather. But um, anyway, it's a beautiful spot. And we are staying at a really neat place that we stayed before. So we're looking forward to that. And then I will see you next Tuesday. I already have my project all finished for next week. It's two fun folds. And um, I mean, it's all, it's not all typed up, but it's all made. So ready for, so when I, because I have a busy weekend coming up. And we've had the grandkids for a few days here. Jack, our grandson, Jack, has been staying here. He's done with um, John and Millie's kids right now, but they've been up here fishing and eating with us and doing all kinds of fun things. So Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Remember, thumbs up, hearts, if you like it. If, if you like the video, please share it with your friends. I thank you for that, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.